It's day two of the Tactical Monster Squad's Brumble Arena Esports Challenge period and I wanted to go in there once again to see if I could pit things out a little bit and the arena has changed. I was actually expecting this to be the same for each and every one of these days. But anyway, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Tactical Monsters videos. I'm gonna try to do something a bit crazy aggressive just going in their silly pants boosted up my monsters like crazy and one of the things i really wanted to do yesterday was to go in with wukong with harry just go a little bit crazy offensive so hopefully where is my gobby there is my gobby all right so i think i'm gonna try to go with this crazy boost up initiative damage with harry go in there double counter with wukong and and hopefully get some get some crazy stuff to do it. Like I'm not a master PvP, not anywhere close, but I'm having huge amounts of fun playing PvP in this, and it's, it's a learning process. So you know, it's gonna get better as we move deeper into things. I am I'm confident about that. I'm definitely enjoying it. So let's see what we're up against here. All right, we have Shady, and wow. All right, well you know the good luck has been done. So let, <laughs> let's just go take this Frankenstein kind of thing here before it boosts up too much. Look, I'm just going directly in with Wukong, hoping to attack, get a counter attack, get a counter counter attack and just boost it. No, because I failed then I should have attacked first because that's just, that's how good I am. We're gonna take Missy. <laughs> Do not worry guys, I have everything completely under control here. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, so we're, <laughs> we're just shooting the same one. It can now electrical shield, but I am not worried. No, because I should be able to take him out with Missy. I hope so. Anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, you're gonna be stunning. My... Oh, great. Well, that's really cool of you. Alright. Um, okay. Well, um, yeah. I did not plan on shielding him, but it's okay. I was thinking about shooting the Frankenstein, but this is gonna work out as well because <laughs> now we're not taking damage from that little thing and that was of course super important yeah so we're off to a great start here electrical shield one stunned opponent and my diabolic is dead so you know <laughs> we're just gonna be crushing the competition here wow all right well um i think we're gonna rely on gobby's completely amazing luck for the win here because let's be honest i haven't handled things Optimally, we, we can go with that, but moving forward, it's probably going to be like yesterday we had a losing game. But okay, okay, we're down to four opponents, including the little furry dude. And yeah, let's just wait a little with Gobby, see if we can get some dudes to come a little closer before we start using his powers. I'm really hoping he's going to flip his coin come back to life and give me a chance to win this game because i i kind of blew it a little bit but all right let's let's um yeah all right so flurry dude is gonna attack uar is gonna go away and great so we, we need to take blocky out so let's see die no oh, oh we're gonna get we're gonna get easy look at that <laughs> completely time all right yeah, alright, so we're out of range for Shady, not taking that much damage. I think I'm gonna let the little throw one be so that the Kentor can't attack me. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go with that. Uh, if I can, please survive, little flurry thing. Yes. Alright, and then I can... I'm just gonna hit defend. Go for sh nah, yeah, we're gonna go for Shady. Like that. Look at how I am like master strategy here using the opponent's little pet flurry ball against him it is it was actually my plan all from the start for the game to play out but it's completely mind-blowing strats and uh, yeah okay so i need to i can't attack that one because i'm in melee range no worries we're gonna hit the fend again oh you're moving away now that was part of my plan because exactly we had a ricochet, so we did we did the double damage there just as what I wanted. One more time too. Go flip the right flip. <laughs> like that. Wow. Wow. So this was not exactly how I planned to go into the arena today, but 
I think things are working out nicely for us. I actually can't see how we can lose now because we, we have two pretty great ranged units fully powered up and all I need to do is drag out time one and a half round more because I think we were home court which means that if we just lost to round nine we have actually won the game wow how am I how am I winning this this is unbelievable this is um, I'm sorry Octavius I am <laughs> This is a great game! Wow! Ah, 60, the Dark Servant won. Yeah, I think we need to get the Dark Servant out as well for us to win, but Song of the Dark. No, 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 no. Keep your song away from me. And there we go. And great. Everything is <laughs> Everything is pretty peachy. So, uh, yeah. I should not have won this. I do not know how I ended up winning this. This was, this was mind-blowing lucky. And of course, a great deal of, of skills from, from my behalf. Wow, that was crazy. All right, so that was that was game one. Um, great, game one one. I, I can live with that. <laughs> that was this is this is the hardcore strat stuff when you're doing tactical monsters PvE. I'm thinking let's just go for another rumble. We did amazing. How could it? How could it go any? I think I need to probably practice to do things worse than what I did this time around, but it's, it's a work in progress. Let's see what we can do. I think we're just going to go something completely similar. We're going to go for the mud, the mud man, because he's kind of greasy. We're just going all in once again. This time I am thinking about if I actually want to take advantage of the fact that Vulcan can counter and double counter if the opponent he attacks has a countering option, if I haven't used it, but let's see what happens. <laughs> There is no reason to rush into things. Alright, so we could probably take out Clarissa with Wukong. With an attack and a counter attack, double counter kind of thing. I think we can actually take out a Clarissa with with one attack, but um Yeah, let's just see what else we get in the mix. And oh we have another blocky. Blocky's always fun. So do I want to do I want to get muddy or do I want to get blocky or how do I want to do this? Come on Clarissa, you got the moves like Jagger, like that. Alright, I was thinking if I wanted to take Missy and protect Wukong before attacking, but no, let's just do like last time because that was super efficient. Go there without getting a counter attack. See, we can... Wow, I really wanted the mud dude to die. Alright, alright, well, I was... This is a... I'm, I'm experimenting a little bit here, guys. Why did Wukong not counterattack there? Is Dr. Walker an anti-counter thing? I need to read a lot more up on these units. I haven't been playing as much lately as I wanted to, so now I'm just going crazy pains here. Alright. Uh, you know, now we're taking out Dr. Mud. Enrage and fall apart and die. Really, you are only melee capable. I really love the mud dude. Made a video about him. He is absolutely an amazing monster in the game. One of the few monsters I actually know exactly how it works. Uh, so yeah, now we are three three, and I think let's see, if, let's see if I can do what I said. I'm expecting attack, counter attack, counter counter attack, and the double count. No, she survived. I thought I would have the power to take her out. All right. Well, I guess if I had done it while Harry was done, I would have had this additional damage option. Because I I have been playing around with that in... How dare you? Wow, that was so rude. Alright, wow. Alright. Well, Clarissa is gone. And... Blocky can't reach me, so with a little luck, I can use the UAR to shield Wukong. He will survive the burning floor. And then he... I don't know if he's gonna take damage both now and at the start of the turn. He's safe, so we can we can shadow clone. That was my plan all along, guys. The strats in the games today are just completely unreal. I really hope Ketzer isn't gonna be watching this video because he's gonna be laughing himself to beat by my amazing skills. All right. Um, if I go blocky, perhaps I will damage both of them. Yes completely planned but no damage really wow that was pretty sad that was pretty sad so i'm thinking really if i could use missy and wukong 
No, I can't, because Wukong's gone. What a sad, sad day to live. Alright, we're gonna take Shadow Wukong instead and see if we can... Should I go for Walter? Oh, I forgot I can't control that one. It has an AI. Well, that was cool. I wanted to go for Walter anyway. So he won't be shooting any more ranged stuff. Because if Walter is gone, I really just need to manage Blocky. And with two ranged units, that should be pretty doable. Like that. Great. Because Gabi can stun. Missy can fly from one side of the arena to the other. And I actually didn't see if we were home or away court. But like if we were home court and we just needed to drag out time, I could actually just be flying on each side of the arena. But this looks like a game one anyway, even though I did the exact same amazing thing at the start where I didn't boost up Wukong's energy to make an early Shadow Clone, but yeah, it, like fun stuff, we got rid of the Mudman early, and that was of course the master plan, <laughs> was, that was the cool strat, right? great stuff. Well, thank you Ketzer for the game. Alright, well things are going surprisingly well considering, like... The amazing strat you guys are like experiencing from the master gamer. <laughs> this is completely unreal. Wow, I am I am in luck. Let's uh, let's go with that. So who do we want? Who do no, not the flurry thing. Oh man. All right, Tamiri. All right, Tamiri. Let's see what you got. We got the dragon, and we got Carissa, and we got a Gabi. All right. So what do we do to do with the drunken sailor? We can't hit anything from here. Should we put in something new? You know what? Let's go with Missy. It has been working out like a charm <laughs> the other games. Let's wait it out. And I'm really thinking about if I want to use Missy to shield Wukong and then charge into battle with him. I think that could be fun to try out. But let us see how the game plays out here against Tamiri. So let's get our groove on Tamiri. Timer? No, not the timer. Alright, end. Ah, wise decision. Well, we, I guess we can also just um, see if we can... I really hate when they don't move. Ah, making me do stuff all the time. It's like work. Come on, do something. Do something. No? Yes. Alright, we got another one. Alright, let's boost, let's protect Wukong. And then see if we can take Wukong into battle to do something interesting. Hmm. I mean, if, if Rambo does anything. Oh, that was a defense. Alright, so we're not going to be shooting Garby or Rambo. We're just going for Clarissa. Sending, yeah. So now she has taken damage. But let's see if it works out. 200, a crit damage, double counter. Look at that, Wukong ready to shadow clone. Almost no damage taken. That was a pretty cool start. I should I should do that more often. I think I think that is the way to go. All right, so we have Harry. Oh, that was a bit silly, really, because I could have. Wow, wow. I was just about to say I could have gotten stunned, but the strats there were just unreal. <laughs> wow. All right, so we're getting a shadow now. I this was this was pretty crazy. I mean, the luck with the chain attack onto Wukong that goes double counter and take Gabi out. That was unreal. That was um, that was pro strats and of course completely intentional. What you are seeing here is obviously genius at play. It is not in any way random luck and casual gameplay. Do not go there guys. I'm just saying. Alright so we have Blocky on the table and Rambo. And I think uh, I've done enough uh, amazing display of skills. So let's just uh, take that stump off like that. We're gonna be like that. Alright. The stump is amazing. Hey, oh, so my god, my gobby takes out the glowing plasma ball thing and blows up my Wukong. Great. Well, I mean, gobby is normally one of those life saving kind of things, but today we saw gobby almost do the sui, you know what the word is, kind of thing by hitting my Wukong, and now my own gobby ricocheted the attack into. The crazy dragons don't have blew up my unit, so great stuff. Gabi, you're really your buddy, your pal today. I'm really happy that you are in for the fun stuff. All right, so we want to be taking out this here. I don't want to be giving Rambo another option to use Stomp, so I would like to get Blocky out of the table first, if possible, so that 
we won't be getting any crazy pants. Um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about if I wanna, you know, we're just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I could have removed the super attack to just see if I could go for a chain attack, but, uh, but now we're just going with the flow on it. Should be a game one now going into auto mode, just Rambo, and we have these two amazing units. So that was pretty much what I had to share from today's esports challenge in Tactical Monster Squad's Bramble Arena. It's no secret, I am not the PvP strat meister. I'm gonna be practicing on a daily basis. Oh, what is that stone doing there? Ah, uh, I kinda wanna win this. Uh, Alright, well, let's move away. Yeah, I was doing my outro kinda thing while recording this. No. Alright, we're just gonna move away. I don't wanna blow up. I, we just she's gonna be keeping one ua oh it's gonna absorb the damage but gobby cannot take that amount of damage so I'm just, i just moved him away a little bit but i think we should be safe now anyway i was saying something yeah it's gonna be a work in progress gonna try to go in here to check out the different esports arenas on a daily basis to crush it a little bit share some gameplay with you guys it is fun i really like playing it here but as you guys have seen it is um it is 99% skill and 1% luck, or the other way around. I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely fun. That is the most important thing. All right, so we are ending it here. We should. This should be the last round. I mean, come on, Rambo. Hey, survive, survive. Oh, bollocks. Oh well, it, it would have been fun. It would have been fun. So we should be able to take out Rambo with the next attack, please yeah like that and we're golden we're golden so anyway guys that was pretty much what i had to share in this video i hope you enjoyed as always thank you very much and very much for watching